Hey everyone, Josh Laurent, Country Classic Cars, coming at you again. Uh, today, I'm in my basement, um, uh, underground bunker in an undisclosed location. But um, we're going to do a special video today, and this video is going to be um, a little show and tell of some of the different... If I drop it here. Some of the different hood ornaments that could be found on classic cars. Now, you know, there are some really neat hood ornaments out there and all kinds of different styles, shapes, different meanings of them. Um, even some of the just aftermarket and custom ones that people put on, but from the manufacturers themselves, the hood ornaments has been uh, kind of a, a staple in, in classic cars. And, you know, one of the questions that we get a lot is, uh, whatever happened to the car hood ornaments, you know, where, where are they at now? You know, why don't we see them as much? Why were they there in the first place? So let's take a look at, uh, at some of the hood ornaments we have and we'll see um, you know, kind of the evolution of the, of the hood ornament and um, all the different styles that are out there. You know, there was a time when car hood ornaments graced, you know, most every vehicle. Um, Nowadays, not so much. You know, it's it's a rare sight. There's still a few brands that that um, you'll see the hood ornaments very prominent on. But you know, that's just one of the one of the questions. Like, you know, what what happened to them? Why were they there? Where did they go? Um, understanding why car hood ornaments were were once you know the standard is you kind of need to look back to the early 20th century and understand why they were there in the first place. Um, obviously those cars don't look anything like today's, you know, streamlined aerodynamic cars. You know, in fact, if you look at some of the old hoods, you'll notice that really the, it was, a, it was a radiator cap. I mean, that was, that was really kind of the first, you know, type of hood ornament. Um, and you know, now those cat, you know, those radiator caps are obviously tucked away inside, you know, under, under the hood of the car and out of view. But for many years, that was the first thing you saw on the front of a car. Um, a radiator cap is not exactly the most attractive thing so you know automaker automakers and manufacturers start using hood ornaments to dress them up and make them look you know more more attractive and appealing a little bit more artistic um, it was mostly about just aesthetics you know it was a miniature statue of an animal people smaller versions of the cars um, airplane you know designs some of them were much more appealing than others some of them were you know very very simple and boring you know, it, it really started as kind of a, a practical way of making the car more attractive and turned into more of a, an accepted design element. Uh, when the radiator caps, you know, moved under the hood, hood ornaments remained for, you know, for decades afterwards. You know, some of the more recognizable car, you know, hood ornaments that, you know, that everybody knows, you know, is the Jaguar Leaper, the Bugatti Dancing Elephant, uh, the Bentley Flying Bee, you know, the Rolls Royce Spirit of Ecstasy. You know, Mercedes-Benz Star, um, you know, luxury brands had some of the most dramatic hood ornaments, but even more affordable brands had, had something on the hood, something to, you know, decorate the front of the car and really show as a symbol. Um, Buicks have often sported, uh, you know, like female figures, trains, planes, gun sights, fighter jets. Um, Chevrolets once had eagles and even um, kind of an eagle-like train mix-up looking thing. Plymouth had sailboats, you know, Pontiacs, which were named after Ottawa Chief Pontiac, had the Native American bust. Um, for me personally, that's one of my, my favorite hood, orna hood ornaments. Um, but there was not really any kind of shortage or, you know, uh, of different styles and, and themes. And like I said, you look at today and it's, it's really rare to see a car with a decorated hood. Um, in place of hood ornaments are smooth lines, you know, sometimes a medallion, sometimes just lettering. Um, you know, Mercedes-Benz, you know, that's a, that's a famous, you know, the, the, the three pointed star, um, that was always on top of the, you know, as the hood ornament is now firmly planted in the middle of the, of the front grill of the car. Um, you know, so I guess that's one of the things we can, you know, ask is, you know, what, what led to hood ornaments going away. And I think a lot of it was a, a combination of, of multiple different factors. I mean, taste changed over the years. Um, Crow accent, fins fell out of favor. Um, fears about how much they affected fuel economy. A smooth hood reduces drag. How many of them got stolen out in the parking lot? 
Um, you know, there's just a lot of different factors that go into it. And I don't think there's any one particular reason why hood ornaments went away, but it's just a multitude of different reasons. Um, we all remember, well, a lot of us remember that eighties, like the hood ornaments kind of became a fashion statement. A lot of people wore the, you know, like the Mercedes Benz, uh, three pointed star and turned it into a, a chain on a necklace. Um, you know, there's, you know, that, that really led to a lot of hood ornament theft. So. Um, slowly but surely, anyway, I mean, ornaments disappeared from hoods around the world. Um, they're kind of replaced with just stylized logos and, and uh, you know, on the grill or in lettering. Um, but you know what, if you're, you're still, you know, looking for, you know, a hood ornament, you still find them on some of the luxury cars. You know, some of the Rolls Royce have the spirit of ecstasy will still, um, you know, retract and, and, and come up from, from the grill when you start the car. So there's, uh, there's still a few of them out there. There's a lot of aftermarket ones. There's some famous ones that weren't even, you know, real hood ornaments from manufacturers. So people know the, the, the Convoy Duck um, from the 1970s movie Convoy, or also seen in the movie um, uh, Death Proof by Quentin Tarantino, the Convoy Duck that was on uh, Stuntman Mike's Nova. You know, that's a famous hood ornament and there's lots of, lots of others, so.
So guys, that wraps up the you know tour of some of the hood ornaments that we have in stock, and uh, you know ho hope you enjoyed just seeing some of the, the different styles that were out there. Um, this particular hood ornament came off of a Dodge uh, that we had in uh, inventory a long time ago and did some restoration work. So this was the original one. Um, you know, we try to keep some of these examples around because they're they're neat. We have them you know hanging up throughout the office, um, but the hood ornaments really a neat neat piece of uh, the automotive um, culture and we wanted to like I said let you see some of the ones that uh, that could be seen on the different different types of automobiles throughout the years so I uh, hope you enjoyed it and we will be back soon and hell if I'm going home now I don't own no truck hell I don't even got a dog He bites you in the ass.